Okay. I don't know if I can put a weapon on this. If you guys can see me, I can't see myself on the screen, but I don't think you guys will be able to see me. But, how's it going, guys? Um, you know, I don't want to take any lessons from that, so I'm just going to call my weapon. I won't skip that so you know I didn't get copyrighted. Um, I'm gonna put in my mouse and we can get this set. I have to install DirectX and DirectX to be on top. DirectX. Next. So this is gonna be my walkthrough. Uh, Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In the main building? Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Crabblesnitch? Why? Just why? Why? Alright, so let's see how this... Ooh, wow, it's, uh... I actually think I have to address the sensitivity. Wait. You're telling me I can't upgrade my sensitivity. Sensitivity. How do I mess with my sensitivity? Okay, I need to get at least a 2.0. Boom. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Jimmy, when assigned an analog input, Jimmy, okay, go to the contents. Say so. Okay. So I'm going to be doing two series, up, series, up, series on this. One is going to be with the path of good, and one is going to be with the path of bad Because I know it's kind of like Telltale's The Walking Dead, even though it's made by someone. Um, I'm saying, like, uh, one, uh, one series of the, you know, good things, and the other series of the R, 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 be doing bad things. So, I don't know what I'm doing. Look familiar? Oh, this Do you ever go into town? I know what you I heard about you. Oh, God, you're still following me. You just won't bugger off. That's right. Hello there, ma'am. I'll shut up so you can watch this. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. 
So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Oh, hey, we better make a friend soon. So, you lose this? Guys, what? Well, I off. For that, break it up. Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. No, the voice act in this game is terrible. I thought GTA 4 was bad with voice acting. This game's terrible. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're going to need friends. So it's up to you. You're going to play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar Bart in the door, knocker. just a soda machine. You suck, man! You should ah, probably change into your uniform if you Stay don't want to get in trouble. Ear. I'll give you whatever Come on, man. Just Come on. Stop. You're tough, right? Dudes! I wish I could see R rated movies. See ya.
hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete, Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life, my parents, this school, Western civilization. But really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey. Haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. This is like Nico as a kid. I hear my sarcasm. Hey, Jim, let me show you around.
Come on, psycho, this way. You don't want a piece of me. I really was gay. Let's have some fun with her. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go, let's see what she oh, wants. No. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my I god, oh my god. <laughs> she took my chocolate. Please get it back. Oh my god, what's your problem? This sounds like a guy. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Pay attention. Whoa! 
What are you doing? This is so hard. You do not seem to have the makings of a chemist. Oh my god. How am I so hard at just pressing buttons? Oh my god, that's how so hard. So how am I so hard? Yo! Yo, that came out really wrong. How is that so hard to say that? I didn't mean to say how about it. Have you ever wondered what the point of all this is? No way. You feel really ashamed. Damn, I made a joke by accident. Dirty joke. Start the setup. Alright. I think this will be the last one. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> What you gonna do?
Look! It's great! It's flat! Look! I can't do anything! Look! I'm moving it with so much
guys. Wait, this is the soda machine. Oh, come on! Let a real man show you the ropes! I hate you. You're dead! 